So this Math in Minute video is on dilation. And in this video, we're going to look at uh, scale factors. I received a comment from Vernica Rocks one looking for dilation. She says, dilations, please. So we're going to look at a couple of videos with dilation. So this first one is going to be on scale factors. So what is dilation? Dilation is simply when you have a shape and you can enlarge it if the scale factor is greater than one, or if you have a shape and it needs to be reduced, the scale factor is less than one, but it is greater than zero. So let's take a line, for example. If I said this line is three positions, I want to dilate it with a scale factor of two. All I'm doing is multiplying three times two and I get six, so I would draw my shape six positions. So this one would be six and this one would be three. So I dilated that line segment, a scale factor of two. So what if we had a line that was six and I had a scale factor that was one third. So again, I'm going to multiply my scale factor times the original position. And this equals six over three, which is two. So in this case, my line shrinks to two. So that's basically what dilation is. It enlarges if a scale factor is greater than one, and it shrinks or reduces if the scale factor is less than one, but greater than zero. So let's take a look at an example. So here I have a triangle, A, B, C, and the position of A is negative four, two, B is negative two, seven, and three is two, two. So all I'm going to do is multiply my X and Y coordinates for each point by a scale factor. So let's say I'm doing a scale factor of two. So my new A, I'll call that A prime, is going to be negative four times two. That's my scale factor. So it'll be negative eight. My y would be two times two, so that one would be four. B would be negative two times two, which gives me negative four, and seven times two gives me 14. And then C prime is gonna be two times two, which is four, and again, two times two, which is four. So if I plot my prime, I'm going to go to negative eight, four for my new A. This would be my new A. My new B would be at negative four, 14, 14, so my B prime all the way up here. And then C would be four, four, so I would go over here. So this is where C prime would be. And then I would draw my enlarged triangle because my scale factor was greater than one. So let's look at if we had a scale factor less than one. So if the scale factor is one half, we would multiply again each of the numbers. So our a prime would equal negative four times one half, which would give us negative two. Two times one half would give us one. B prime, negative two times one half would be negative one. Seven times one half would be three and a half, or seven over two. And C prime would be two times one half is one in both positions. So now we can graph. So if we go to negative two, one, we're right here. If we go to negative one and positive three and a half, and C prime would be one, one, which is right there, that would be our C prime. And then we can draw our new triangle, which has shrunk or reduced because our scale factor is less than one. So this is dilation based on scale factors. Any math topics you would like me to cover, please leave in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, share, and we'll see you next time.